Hi everyone, in today's video we will be repeating this shawl that I made in my last video. A few of you guys said that it was a little too blurry for you to see, so I'm more than happy to redo the video. So we'll achieve this look using extended double crochets, single crochets, and chains. It's super simple because it only has a two row repeat. So for this tutorial, I'll be using lightweight three yarn with a three and a half millimeter hook. So to begin, you want to start with a chain of five. One, two, three, four, and five. And in this very first chain, you are going to slip stitch. From here, chain three. One, two, three. In this ring that we just created right here, you are going to be placing one extended double crochet. I did not know what it was called in my last video, but one of you were so kind to let me know what it was and it is indeed called an extended double crochet. So thank you so much Saffron Saffron for letting me know that. So inside this ring, prepare for an extended double crochet. You're going to yarn over and insert your hook in the ring. You're gonna grab your yarn and pull. Grab your yarn and pull through one loop. Grab your yarn again, pull through the second. Grab your yarn again, pull through the last. From here, go ahead and chain two. One, two. You will be placing two extended double crochets in the ring again. So again, yarn over, insert into the circle. Grab your yarn, pull through one loop, pull through the second, and pull through the third. So that's one, and we're gonna do it again. Pull through the first, pull through the second, pull through the third. From here, chain two, one, two, and again, place two extended double crochets inside of the circle. So that's one, and two. Chain two, one, two, and inside the circle again, place two extended double crochets. One, two. Chain two again, one, two, and for a final time, go ahead and place two extended double crochets in the circle. That's one, and two. You should have a total of five sets of two extended double crochets. So here was the first one, second, third, fourth, and fifth. To continue this row, go ahead and chain three. One, two, three, and flip your work. In this very first chain space of two, we will be placing our beginning shell. So that's two extended double crochets, a chain two, and two extended double crochets all in the same chain space. So let's place our first two extended double crochets. After those two, go ahead and chain two, one, two, and place an additional two extended double crochets in that same chain space. There's one and two. We will be doing our shell every row just like that to begin our row. From here, chain two, one, two. Skip the next chain space and go into the second one. We will be starting our first design. So to do that, we will be placing four long loop extended double crochets. So yarn over and go into the second chain space, grab your yarn and pull up a loop. Yarn over and continue with your extended double crochet. So pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through three. You are gonna repeat those long loop extended double crochets three more times for a total of four. So yarn over, insert your hook in that chain space, grab your yarn and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through the first, yarn over, pull through the second, yarn over, pull through the third. Now that I have two, I'm gonna repeat this two more times for a total of four. There's number three. And there's number four. Now I'm going to go back into that chain space that I skipped at the beginning. 
with four long loop extended double crochets. So yarn over and I'm going to sink my hook into that chain space that I skipped, grab my yarn and pull up a loop. I'm going to continue with the extended double crochet and I'm going to repeat this three more times for a total of four long loop extended double crochets. There's number two. Pull up that loop. Yarn over and pull through the first, yarn over, pull through the second, yarn over, pull through the third. And I'm going to do this one more time for a total of four long loop extended double crochets. And that is how the first wave is made. From here, chain two, one, two, and we're going to end this row by placing a shell into this final chain space. So again, that's two extended double crochets, chain two and two dou extended double crochets. That's one, two, chain two, one, two, and two extended double crochets, one, and two. You will also be ending every single row with that shell sequence. So start every row with a shell and end every row with a shell. To continue, chain three. One, two, three, and flip your work. Start this row by placing your shell sequence in the beginning. One, two, chain two, and one, two extended double crochets. From here, you're going to chain two. One, two. In the previous row, we made a total of eight extended double crochets. In this row, we will be placing eight front post extended double crochets into each of them. So after chaining two, yarn over and go behind that very first post so that the post of that EDC is right in front of your, your hook. Now grab your yarn and continue with your extended double crochet. Continue these front post double crochets all along until you reach the end and you should end up with a total of eight. So here's number three. Four. Five, six, seven, and eight. From here, go ahead and chain two, one, two, and finish this row by placing your shell sequence in the final chain space. Border. There's one, two, chain two, one, two, and two extended double crochets. One and two. To continue, go ahead and chain three. One, two, three, and flip your work. Go ahead and place your beginning shell into that first border. So that's one, two, chain two, one, two, and two extended double crochets. One, two. We will, we will start to make the second design right here in this corner. So we're gonna skip this very first chain space and we're gonna go into the space right after these first two extended double crochets. So after the shell, go ahead and chain two. One, two. Skip this chain space, skip one, two, and right in this little space right here, sink your hook and pull up four long loop extended double crochets. So that's one, two, 
two, three, and four. Now we're gonna go back into this chain space that we skipped here and we will be placing four extended, four long loop extended double crochets. So yarn over and sink your hook into that chain space that we skipped, pull up that loop and continue with your extended double crochets. Repeat this three more times for a total of four long loop extended double crochets. So I have three, and four. You are going to be skipping the next two posts of the double crochets from the previous row and you will be chaining two. One, two. So skip those next two extended double crochets and place a single crochet in that chain space right after it. From here, chain two, one, two. You're gonna skip the remaining four extended double crochets and we're gonna start our design in this very last chain space before our ending border. So in this final chain space right here, go ahead and place four long loop extended double crochets. That's one. two, three, and four. Now you are going to backtrack. In those four extended double crochets that we skipped, you're gonna count backwards two. So one, two, and in this little space right here, you are going to be placing four long loop extended double crochets. So that's one, two, three, and four. To finish up this row, you're gonna go ahead and chain two, one, two, and place your shell into the ending border. So that's two extended double crochets, chain two, one, two, and two extended double crochets again. One, and two. To begin the next row, go ahead and chain up three, one, two, three, and flip your work. Go ahead and start this row by placing your shell in the beginning border. There's one, two, chain two, and one, two. From here, go ahead and chain two, one, two. In these eight extended double crochets the, we made in the previous row, we will be placing a front post extended double crochet into each of them. So after chaining two, go ahead and yarn over, enter the back of the first post so that the post is in front of your hook again for a front post. You're gonna grab the yarn and continue with your extended double crochet. You're gonna repeat this across all eight of the posts until you reach the end. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. 
from here chain two one two and you are going to repeat those eight front post extended double crochets along the posts of the design at the end so yarn over insert your hook from the back so that the post is in the front yarn over and pull it through and continue with your extended double crochet repeat this along all eight of the posts until you reach the end three four five six seven and eight to finish up this row go ahead and chain two one two and place your final shell in the ending border. Chain two. One. And two. To continue, chain three. One, two, three, and flip your work. From here, the design continues to repeat. So go ahead and place your beginning shell in that border. One, two, chain two, one, two, and two extended double crochets again. One, and two. We will be starting our next design. So from here, go ahead and chain two. One, two. Skip this chain space right here and the next two double crochets. So one, two. And in this little space right here, we will be placing four long loop extended double crochets. So yarn over and sink your hook into that little space after the two first double crochets and pull up a loop. Then yarn over and pull through each loop individually. And repeat this three more times for a total of four long loop extended double crochets. So now I have three and four. Now you're gonna go back into this chain space that you skipped in the beginning and sink your hook and place four long loop extended double crochets. That's one, two, three, and four. From here, go ahead and chain two, one, two. Continue to count two more posts. So one, two, and in that little space, make a single crochet. From here, chain two, one, two. Continue to skip the next four extended double crochets and in the middle chain space, go ahead and place four long loop extended double crochets. So that's one, two, three, and four. Now go back to those four extended double crochets that you skipped and count backwards to one, two. And in this little space right here, you are going to be placing four long loop extended double crochets. So that's one, two, three, and four. 
from here go ahead and chain two, one, two. You will be skipping the next four extended double crochets, so one, two, three, four, and you're going to single crochet in the space right after it. From here, chain two, one, two. Skip the next four extended double crochets, and in the chain space before the ending shell, go ahead and place four long loop extended double crochets. It's one, two, three, and four. Now backtrack to those four extended double crochets that you skipped and count backwards to one, two. And in this little space right here, you are going to be placing your four long loop extended double crochets. One, two, three, and four. Now to end this row, go ahead and chain two, one, two, and place your shell into the border. One, two, chain two, and two extended double crochets. One, and two. To continue, chain three, one, two, three, and turn your work. Go ahead and start the row by placing your shell into the beginning border. Two, chain two, and one, and two. From here, chain two, one, two. You will be placing eight front post extended double crochets along each of these extended double crochets you made in the previous row. So yarn over and again enter the back so that the post is in front of your hook and continue with your eight extended double crochets. Two, three, four, Five, six, seven, and eight. From here, chain two, one, two, and again place eight front post extended double crochets into each of the eight posts from the previous row. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. From here, chain two, one, two, and place eight front post extended double crochets into each of the eight posts from the previous row. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, and eight. From here, chain two, one, two, and finish this row by placing your shell in the ending border. 
one, two, chain two, one, two, and two extended double crochets again. One and two. From here, the pattern continues to repeat. So right now we are looking at the back of the design and this is the front. So just continue to repeat those rows until you reach your desired length and size. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If you like, comment, share, and subscribe, I'll be sure to post more videos for tutorials. I'll see you guys all soon in the next one. Bye.